hello everyone hope you're doing good in this video we are going to repair windows 10 if you have any kind of issues with windows 10 with repair problems if your system is restarting after updates automatic restarts happened and if you have a corrupted window we will fix all kinds of windows 10 issues with the repair option make sure you watch the whole video and we will be definitely be able to fix the problem we will be fixing the computer from the desktop and in the second scenario where you are unable to log on to your computer screen. So here at the start icon at the left hand side just do a right click and then go to settings. Once you are in settings, click on update and security. At the left hand side we have many options troubleshoot and recovery. So here we get advanced startup. Startup from a device or using disk. So we'll click on restart now. The moment you have clicked on that, it will give you an option. Choose an option, continue, troubleshoot, turn off this PC. So here we need to click on troubleshoot. Now the first option is reset PC and advanced option. So we need to click on advanced option. Now in advanced option you have six or seven things which we can do here the startup repair startup settings command prompt uninstall updates so if your computer is rebooting and acting weird after updating your windows after installing updates so what you can do is you can uninstall updates you can click on this and uninstall the latest quality update or uninstall the latest feature update so if I click on the latest one it will give you an option uninstall the latest quality update and here you just need to select your account user account I'll just click on that and it will ask you to enter the password if you do not have any password you can simply click on continue and it will uninstall the quality updates since this computer doesn't have any issues so I will just click on cancel now once this is done I'll go back to the same option advanced option here in uninstall updates you can try both the things if you have issues especially after updating the windows and then if you have if you do not know what exactly has caused the startup issues and your system suddenly gets shut down or restart you can select startup repair this is a very powerful startup Thing. and the moment you will click on this it will diagnose your PC so currently it's doing it and once you do that you might get this option startup repair couldn't repair your PC since this computer doesn't have any issues that's why we have got this startup repair couldn't repair your PC because there is nothing to repair but in your case you might get the perfect solution with the startup repair so once this is done I'll just go back to the same option advanced and here we have other options as well like you can do a system restore now I'll let you know what exactly system restore is let's say in the month of October you you're facing issues and in the month of September it was working absolutely fine you know the exact date that this is the date it was working absolutely fine and since I have made some changes or installed anything and then since then my computer have issues so in that case you can always use the system restore so it will restore your computer back to the earlier date so here we will click on re system restore and you just need to look for the date you will find here the next option says since this computer doesn't have a restore point this is giving me an error but in your computer you might have restore points because system automatically also does and when we uninstall or install anything that also creates a system restore so you can select the date on which it, it was working absolutely fine and then you just need to click on next and restart this will fix your problem you don't have to take the take your computer anywhere you can fix it by yourself so I'll just cancel this and we will move to the next scenario now here we can go for system image recovery there is one more thing system image recovery so recover windows using a specific system image file so if you have saved image 
um, your system image in a USB or on a DVD drive you can click on that and select a system image I'll just click on next and to select your USB or the DVD if you have done all of this and it is not working for you what you can do is you can reset the PC which is a last thing and you need to make sure that you have a complete backup of your computer or the important files because this will remove all the settings and you might not have your files in the computer so it is a good practice to back up your data and then go for the reset this PC so if I click on that it gives us an option keep my files or remove everything so if I select keep my files it will remove apps and settings but keeps your personal file but my recommendation would be to back up your important files on a USB flash drive or any external drive and then do this process because you might not get those things because there is not a hundred percent guarantee that you will get all the files so once I click on keep my files it will give me two options cloud download and local reinstall so if your computer is connected to the internet you can select cloud download so what it will gonna do is it will download the fresh Windows 10 files Windows 10 image and then install it to your computer it says if your connection is metered charges may apply cloud download can use more than 4 GB of data so you can do that so if this thing works for you well and good if it doesn't you can select the local reinstall and once you do that it will restart the computer many times and a fresh copy of Windows will be installed so once you click on reset this PC you get this kind of option change settings back to the default keep personal files reinstall Windows from this reinstall Windows from device remove all apps and program that didn't come with this PC so once I click on reset reset it will start doing these things so I'm not going to do that I'll just click on cancel and we will go back to the same window here the advanced now I'll click on troubleshoot and this time we'll click on reset PC if you not if you do not care about the files and everything you just want a complete fresh Windows in your computer you can select remove everything and this will also do the same this will also give you the same window cloud download and local reinstall so my recommendation will be to download the cloud reinstall windows if it doesn't work then you can do the local reinstall alright so once this is done I'll just click on local reinstall and here we get option just remove my files clean the drive whatever works for you if you're removing everything and doing a fresh installation you can select the clean drive clean the drive fully so that can be done so I'll just click on that and this will keep things ready and within and here it will give you an option remove all personal files remove any changes you have made and once I click on reset it will start resetting the computer and it will make the computer just you it will make the computer in a brand new condition and it will have all the default apps which you had it earlier and this is the last thing which we do because it removes everything from your computer if you have downloaded or installed any application which is not a default app this that will not be here so please keep this in mind so I'll just click on cancel I'll not do that here now the next thing if you are now we are talking about the next scenario where you are unable to be on your desktop and still you want to repair and if you have a repair windows disk windows repair disk or the windows disk what you can do is you can put that drive on your computer and restart the computer and keep on pressing f8 f9 f10 and f11 whatever works for you so you just need to go to the advanced boot options and once you be in the advanced boot options you will have the same window like this where you can do the exact same process just we have done in the desktop mode the only difference it has that we went to settings from the desktop and then recovery and in restart 
we use the DVD drive and we get the same advanced options there. There is one more thing you can do. You can restart the computer in safe mode with networking. So when you restart the computer and you keep on hitting F8 key, you get the safe mode option. So you can try your computer in safe mode or safe mode with networking. That also repairs the computer. You And once you are in the safe mode or safe mode with networking, the overall looks, the graphics will not look good. But that since, since that's a repair mode, it has a basic graphics run some scanner if you have any antivirus program you can scan if you have any virus infections you can remove that in safe mode with networking you can watch this video again you can pause the video and then you can form the troubleshooting steps and let me know in the comment section if it has worked for you and please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day